Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we're trying Big Sky IPA from Big Sky Brewing Company out of Missoula, Montana. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell if you are catching us for the first time. If you are coming back and watching uh, another video of ours, we definitely appreciate you checking us out again. Uh, I am Ben, there's Jay, and Andy is yet again in the attic. What are we going to be reviewing today? All right. So today we are going to Missoula, Montana, and we are going to review the Big Sky IPA. Um, ABV of 6.2. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't see the IBUs. Did you, Andy? Yes, I did. Would you like to know them? Yes, please, sir. There are 65 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you count them all? <laughs> I haven't had this, so I, I can't. Uh, but you know what? For those who are curious, the standard reference method of it is 22. 22. So, 22 right. of an SRM. So it's getting up there. It might be a little darker than we're used to around here. So this one did have an SRM listed. It did, yeah. So it, like um, our um, friends over at uh, Straight, Straight to Hale out of Huntsville post their SRM. So cool. interesting. I, I'm a fan of nerding out, y'all. So if I remember correctly, Monkey Knot, which was the previous one where we talked about that, uh, it had a SRM of 11, I believe. Does yes. that sound right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cool. So this one is... It's 22, so it's 22. twice as dark. Wow. All right. Cool. Well, let's pop we'll it see open. how it is. Yeah, let's yeah. keep going. Let's see. That would be really dark for an IPA. Yeah. Huh. So, yeah, I'm thinking more, if anything, West Coast. Jay, you've had the majority. Or majority you drink a lot of uh, Monkey Knot compared to us, so you would know the color. Yeah. I mean, that's not, um, I can't picture that as being double, but. It's not definitely but double. It's, yeah. but definitely it, not double. It's what it's they um, what they say is you, you shine the UV light through it. Yeah, it's blue UV through, and um, you determine the loss in value of the light, hmm. I guess, lumens after one centimeter, after it passes through one centimeter of it. So, you know to our eye we might not be able to say oh yeah that's right. twice as dark as a monkey knot but you know sophisticated equipment i guess but yeah, that, I, I, don't, I don't think of monkey knot as a a light or really pale beer so yeah but. yeah and i remember when we talked about monkey knot really talking about how it was darker than the kind of mm -hmm. standard ipa that you would expect so i mean again this is dark, darker than an IPA, but I don't know. It's too far from a from yeah. a monkey knot, just from yeah. my eyes. You know, it's still within that what I would consider an art IPA color, just on the darker end of it. But yeah, I'm I'm just appreciative of uh, a little more of the descriptives. Thank you, Big Sky. Yeah. This mine Cheers. has a, a lot of carbonation. I can see lots, lots of bubbles. So. Cheers, mates. I do like the marketing on the beer can, though. You know, the uh, hold my beer and watch this. <laughs> yeah. So, I, 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 just to mention a little bit about that, I think on a previous episode, I mistakenly said that all, all the cans that we have, it said the same thing, and it does not. Um, uh, so this one, you know, as you mentioned, uh, does have that catchphrase on it. Uh, so I think actually the four four beers that we have from Big Sky all say something different. Um, so. so this is our third one. Yes. Yeah. So we still have Moose Drill, right? 
mm-hmm. the brown moose drill. Yep. So, um, so yeah, we've had previously the um, space goat, uh, the summer honey, and, and now this is uh, the, the IPA. So, and I haven't noticed. You know, we mentioned this on a previous. Uh, actually, the last two. I, I do see it now, but I say that. Uh, the 3777 that you can see there on the can again, uh, as we kind of discussed on a, a previous episode, I believe it was the uh, summer honey, that that is something specific to Montana that I don't know that anybody really knows what it is. And, and again, I'll link uh, uh, a story that I found online related to those numbers uh, in the description. So uh, if you're interested in that, check that out. But uh, you see it on things like the beer can here. For Big Sky, you see it on sheriff's badges, uh, other police department stuff. Um, I think it's been mentioned in movies. So, mm-hmm. again, uh, it seems that nobody really really knows what what that is in reference to, at least from what I've read. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, Big Sky does not give a wealth inf- of information about their individual beers. They have a pretty neat history about how – their brewery came to be and we've referenced it on um our other reviews so check those out if you want to know more about it um so i'm curious to see you know i would like to know hops since we mentioned hops when we know it on different beers you know where or which ones were in this so we can kind of get an idea of you know when we like to take in the aroma of the beer and see oh okay uh this is what you expect to to taste after this yeah i think their beers so far have been interesting you know again this being the third one we reviewed um uh, you know having never had a big sky beer previous i don't think any of us had um you know it's definitely been something a little bit different for us to try and you know definitely i think i have definitely been probably the most captivated by the, the artwork on the can and, and some of those other, other things. Um, and so, um, you know, we, I think we've ended up talking more about the artwork and the 3777 than necessarily the beer. And, you know, um, I don't know. I, I think it probably has a lot to do with the fact that, you, as you mentioned, we can't find a lot about the beer um, uh, on their website or, you know, yeah. Really, anywhere. Untap doesn't have it. Their website doesn't have it. Yeah. All right. So, with that, I guess are we ready to run through a review at this point? Do it. All right, Jay. Hey, Jay. What do you think? I'm yeah, gonna put you on the spot. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we plan that. You know, it's. It's a more bitter IPA to me. Um, it's not something that I don't I don't think I would drink on a regular basis. Um, it does have a low alcohol, but um, it's it's got a little bit of a flavor that it's not too appealing to me. Um, so I'm probably going to put this around a six and a half. Okay. What do you think, Andy? I'm actually surprised. I, yeah, I thought you would like this. Um, it tastes like, um, to me, it tastes like, when I say general IPA, it's, you know, it's not, a, to me, a bad thing. I was like, this tastes like IPA standard. Um, and it's not too, for me, it doesn't feel too bitter. doesn't feel too floral. It's just that easygoing balance um so i'm not offended by it and i'd give it a i give it a seven i was like it's it's not bad it's uh almost like the feel and um you know not in a bad way like the macro ipa um taste or feel to it so it's something that i could just have several of and my my taste buds are just not you know abused I get them seven. Yeah, I, I think um, you you kind of hit the nail on the head there for me, Andy, with the the kind of the macro IPA 
um, thought. Uh, that's kind of what I was searching for. And, and uh, you know, what I was kind of thinking in the back of my head was when you go to, you know, we've all been to a bar where the bar has their named beer, you know, um, where, you know, you're at a bar and it's the whatever bar IPA, you know, and it's basically they just take a beer and they, you know, name it for themselves and, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm not making a lot of sense, but I never leave the attic. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. I know, well, I know what yeah, you're talking about. I live, this yeah. is it's where it's, I it's, live. It's almost like the well, <laughs> the well bourbon, you know, at, yeah. a, at a bar. So, <laughs> um, so that was kind of what I was kind of searching for or, or, or kind of where I go with this is it's kind of like that IPA or that, or that beer that you get that's, you know, it's just a macro of, of, uh, uh, you know, what they're offering. Um, so, I, you know, I don't think it's, it's, it's bad, you know, again, everybody knows at this point, hopefully that I'm not the IPA guy. So, um, IPAs are not necessarily my favorite, but I mean, it, it's kind of just a, a standard regular average IPA to me. Um, so with that, I guess I'll give it a standard average regular IPA score. Uh, and, and I'm going to go with the, you know, I'm going to go with the six on it uh, because again, it's, it's fine. You know, uh, it doesn't wow me, but again, I don't ever expect to be wowed too much by too many IPAs uh, because it's just not my style that I, I reach for. Wowed by your beard. Should be. That gives us a six and a half for the Big Sky IPA from Big Sky Brewing Company out of Missoula, Montana. Uh, as always, we definitely appreciate you guys checking us out. Uh, be sure to check us out on social media. Uh, links will be down in the description. And if you have not already, like and uh, subscribe and cheers that notification bell. For Andy in the attic, uh, Jay over there as well i am ben and cheers mates cheers mates appreciate that enthusiasm ben i'm here for you <laughs> cheers mates Woo-hoo!